Hello, today I'm going to be running Space Engine on a Steam Deck, or rather SteamOS through Chimera. So as you can see in the corner here, it says that Space Engine is not compatible with SteamOS. Well, it really is. Many games show as incompatible on SteamOS, but that's because Valve hasn't verified their compatibility. So you just gotta go into the settings, go to compatibility, and change it over to Proton 8.4 for the first launch. After that, you can turn off compatibility mode or leave it on. Either way, it should work. The first time you launch the game is gonna take a little while because it has to go through all the shader pre-processing and caching, but after that, it should work just fine. And here it is, it started up. As you can see, I have my uh, performance overlay in the top left. The cool thing about SteamOS is it uses FSR for every game, which if you're not familiar with FSR, it's, it's AMD's competitor to NVIDIA DLSS. So it's basically AI upscaling. Now the computer that I'm running this on kind of simulates the hardware capabilities of a Steam Deck. It has 16 gigs of RAM, an old i5-4570 from 2013, and an RX 6600. So a modern GPU and a really old CPU. So let's go ahead and go into the settings here because we have a lot of headroom and we're gonna go ahead and just turn everything up. So here we are basically maxed out. The game's running at 1080p 60 hertz and with FSR enabled. And from what I could tell, I don't really see any quality degradation of running the uh, upscaling at all. And it's running at a locked 60 FPS. Only a few times in this video does it really dip down below 60. This is the uh, central black hole in the center of IC1101 like the biggest black hole in the game and on my laptop with an rtx 3070 and a ryzen 9 it stutters and has issues rendering this but as you can see with fsr it's running at a lock 60. so coming over to earth here uh, another area where you would expect to see some stutters whenever the terrain loads in from you zooming in and out you can see that it's also running at a lock 60 fps so while I do not have like side-by-side -side comparison or benchmarks, it seems like Space Engine runs better on SteamOS than it does on Windows. And as you can see, I just tried to go over to the Karina Nebula and it crashed. So it's not perfectly stable, but I've also experienced crashes on the PC version as well, or rather the Windows version. And even with all these particles and stars rendering, it doesn't appear to be stuttering or really dipping in performance at all. So let's go ahead and go somewhere where uh, performance usually dips on the newer versions of Space Engine. Let's go to a nebula which has a bunch of volumetric clouds rendering in real time. And as you can see it's consistent lock 60 FPS and this is not particularly good hardware that I am running this on. So just to show some of the interface here, this is uh, the performance settings I'm running in SteamOS. Um, as you can see, I have my scaling filter set to FSR. I don't have any power management controls because this is actually a desktop computer, not a Steam Deck, but the performance is comparable. Now the translation from Windows to Linux binaries are not perfect, so I would expect some bugs in this game. Um, as you can see, there's like these lines going across the nebula here, a little bit of uh, graphical issues, but overall it's still working mostly perfectly. Oh yeah, there it is. Now you can really see it popping in. Yeah, you can see some of the uh, graphical issues. It looks kind of cool though. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, no, I don't think the game's supposed to be uh, doing that necessarily. And there it is, it just despawned. up. Oh, there's a little bit of it. And it's only really when you're in the nebula. So let's go ahead and go to the center of a globular cluster. There are thousands and thousands of stars here. And even with like distortion from this black hole, you can see that it's barely dipping in performance. The CPU usage is even in the single digits, and this is on a prehistoric i5-4570 with DDR3 RAM. Like, this is this is a really old computer, to today's standards anyways. And just to end it off, here's another black hole. In the newer versions of Space Engine, black holes are very demanding on performance because they have a lot of the uh, volumetric particle simulation going on, but here it is running on old hardware, perfectly fine. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanted to show that Space Engine can run on a Steam Deck, or at least uh, Steam OS through Chimera on a desktop, but functionally it's the same thing, doing the same thing. Anyways, if you liked the video, go ahead and share it, like it, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.